What's up, everyone? Donnie McHenry of Lakers Outsiders here with an episode of Lakers Lately, our new YouTube show that's covering what's happened with the Lakers in the past week. Enjoy the show, and be sure to give the video a like and let us know what you think about the team and the video in the comments below. 20-year-old future Hall of Famer Taylor Horton Tucker continues to impress this year, taking advantage of Wesley Matthews' absence in Sunday's win against the Rockets. Overall, he ended with 17 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 4 steals. He was third in scoring for the Lakers on the evening, coming in at ninth in regards to total minutes played that night. He's still finding ways to impact these games with high praise coming from the King himself after the game. Does it on both sides of the floor. And then he just listens. He's a sponge. You know, whatever you say to him, he's gonna apply it. He's gonna accept it first and then he's gonna apply it right away. There's not that many young guys that can uh, take something on the fly and then make it happen the very next play. Uh, you saw it tonight with his ability, obviously, to go uh, seven for eight from the field, but also his rebounding, his assists, playmaking, and then having four steals to add on top of that. So, you know, big time, uh, big time game for him for for a kid that's still growing into his own, but um, he's beyond his years. Now, the Lakers did end up playing another game against the Rockets only two days after THT's great performance. I would tell you something about that game, but there's no use given how unserious the Rockets were at the time behind the most unserious superstar of all time. James Harden played like a fool that night before being traded to the Nets, doing shit like this against the Lakers. Instead of talking about the game, we'll just take a look at LeBron's no-look three-pointer from a few angles. The Lakers beat the Thunder 128-99 to on Wednesday night, leading the game from buzzer to buzzer. They did show signs of playing a little too loose towards the end of the first half, letting a 14-2 Thunder run narrow the lead to 12. The Lakers could have come out in a lackluster way again in the second half, but they didn't. They were led by some great three-point shooting from LeBron James, but also some great energy from Montrez Harrell. Check out his highlights that are almost all examples of him just outworking his opponent. The Lakers had another good defensive performance against the Pelicans, winning 112 to 95. Other than the defense, I wanted to highlight Kyle Kuzma and Alex Caruso's performances off the bench. The two won't end up with many high-scoring games this season, but they do the little things that help the Lakers get wins. They've been reliable to knock down some open three-pointers, rebound, and play some defense, with the two doing exactly that in Friday's win.
On January 7th, Anthony Davis called out the Lakers defense after they gave up 118 points to the San Antonio Spurs. He didn't really mince words, saying their defense had been shit lately. He did not play in the Lakers game a day later against the Bulls, but came back two nights later to play against the Rockets. Once he came back, the Lakers defense from the bubble appeared to return, as the Lakers had defensive ratings of 100 or less in each of the four games in this past week. The performances have left the Lakers with the number one rated defense in the league, with the number one net rating as well. That'll do it for this episode of Lakers Lately. Be sure to give the video a like, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us over on Twitter for everything Lakers Outsiders. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.